Hello. Today I'd like to talk about a nice BIM plugin that I use called Lightline, uh, which all it is, it just gives you this nice colored status bar at the bottom of your screen. Uh, it gives you some nice colors, information about your uh, the file that you're editing, the mode you're in, uh, no name, and then, yeah, there's more information about the file, where you are in the file, you know, stuff like that. And today I just wanted to show you how to make your own color scheme, which is not too difficult. Uh, if you didn't know, just in your VimRC somewhere, you want to add these two lines, let light line equal an empty dictionary, and then uh, lightline.colorscheme equals and then the name of the color scheme you want to use. And that's how you change the, the color, the general color. Um, to get the names of the color schemes that are available, you want to go to your uh, this directory right here, lightline.vim autoload lightline color scheme. Um, the head might be different depending on the plugin manager you use, wherever you have your, your Vim stuff, but you, this is generally where you want to look, the, this color scheme directory, and then you ls, and then these are these are the names of all the color schemes that are available. Uh, right here, 16 color, that's one I have, and let's just try out one, change it to wombat, wombat right here. Uh, save this file, and then let's open, let's open up Vim again, and here we have the the color is no different. Uh, so, I'm going to show you how to make your own. Uh, what you want to do, you want to go to this directory with all the, the pre-existing color schemes, and then you just want to create uh, some color scheme, the name, and then with a .vim extension, you're going to make that, uh, that file, and you want to add this stuff, generally this stuff, so you, you want to have a, a variable, a script variable, uh, called P, I just call it P, <clears throat> that doesn't matter the name, uh, and then it's going to be a dictionary with uh, names of the the modes that um, that you're going to color. So uh, to start out with, you just want to have normal mode just to play around with it. And this is just going to color, um, this is going to uh, define what the color is going to be in normal mode. So we're just gonna you're gonna customize these colors. Here. I'll, I'll just uh, show you what to do. So to set the colors, you want to do uh, the name of the variable dot uh, the mode that you're changing, and then dot the the section that you're changing. So you you can change this, you can change the sections left, middle, and right, and it's gonna be the type of the variable is gonna be a list of a list. So you have um, square brackets, and then in those square brackets, you're gonna have a, a list of more square brackets, something like oops, something like this. <clears throat> uh, so let's just have one for now. And in these sublists, you're gonna have um, they're gonna be oops, I'm gonna do, uh, four. Four um, values that are going to be the colors that you're of the um, status bar. So the first two values, these are hexadecimal values, and they're going to be used for um, GVIM. So if you have um, a GVIM instance, it's going to color these the status bar for uh, GVIM, but I don't really use it, so I just set it to some uh, just some colors doesn't matter. And then uh, if you use the terminal. If you yeah, if you have a color terminal, you're gonna add um, two five six colors, uh, and then you're gonna add a foreground and a background. So I'm gonna add two colors here. You're gonna add zero, which is um, black up there, and then let's do one for for red. So it's the foreground background, and then let's just copy this, Oops. copy this, and then <clears throat> okay. And then let's change one to three. Okay, so I just copy these. I just copied these, and then I uh, change the background from one to two, which is green, and then uh, to three, which is a yellow orangish color. Uh, so this is basically all you need. Um, at the end of the file, you want to source, or you want to um, uh, assign this variable g lightline hash color scheme hash and the name of whatever color scheme. Uh, whatever you name the, the file, and 
hash palette equals uh, this variable that you created before. There's sp for this. Uh, okay, let's save that, and then let's go into the vimrc, or whatever file you're sourcing, and then you just want to change the color scheme to the name of the, the file we just made. So demo, and open vim, and here you go. Now you have this very ugly red, green, and orange color scheme. <clears throat> um, you'll see if I change modes, if I go to insert uh, visual command line, uh, it stays the, the color stays the same. And that's because we didn't create <coughs> uh, well. demo. Uh, it's because we didn't create um, different values in this dictionary for insert and all the other modes. So if you want to add those and you want to make it different, uh, I just want to make another one of these. Uh, this <laughs> this part right here, uh, except for insert and whatever you want. So if I do insert uh, colon and then um, uh, curlies. Now you can have you can change the colors for uh, the insert mode, and you just uh, you'd add a similar thing that you did here. Uh, and then another thing I like to do instead of uh, retyping this uh, this color over and over again, and then these colors. If you want to have it being consistent, uh, you can set variables to the um, colors that you want to use. So what do I call it? I call it S and then GY for the, the GUI color. And then hash. Here you go. And then <clears throat> I can substitute. So I wonder if this works. There you go. S. GUI. There you go. And now you don't have to like retype the colors. And if you want to reuse a color, you don't have to remember. Whatever. If you're a program, you know, just want to make you want to make variables for things. Um, so let's do. Uh, let's make a um, insert mode color now. Uh, what do I call it? Mm, something similar to the ink. Um, if you want to reuse the colors, say you only want to change um, the left side color, but the rest. Like once you change to insert mode, you want this part to change, but you want the rest to be the same because that doesn't matter to you. Um, you don't have to change um, the, the middle mode and the, the right mode, or whatever mode you don't want to change. So I'm just going to these and then insert. So now I'm changing the insert mode. If it's not there, it's just going to use the, um, I think it defaults to the normal, the normal mode, uh, whatever set. Um, so let's just let's change uh, change the color. So for insert mode, let's have instead of red, let's make it I don't know one one one. Uh, yeah, that's good. One one one, and then the foreground is still where is it? Still black. Okay. Um, let's open it up. Oh, messed something up. But can run allocate color. Oh, I think these have to be single, single things. Oh no. Oh, because they are in quotes. That's why. Um, three. Okay, I had the I had the quotes in around these around the variable names. Okay. Then, and then here you go. Okay, so we have what we had before like the ugly red, green, and yellow. And then if we go to insert mode, oh, it's still broken. Wait. Let me see what that is. Insert mode, why is insert broken? Oh, these are also, <laughs> these are the same things. There you go, now it should work. Go to insert mode, and here it changed to this 111 color. It's like blue, bluish, whatever. Uh, yeah, and then that's, Basically, all you need to get started, you're going to make your own color scheme, and then I have to change mine. I'll show off mine for now. Oops. Uh, MRC. Okay. Now it's going to source this other file that I have, the actual, um, my actual configuration. So, so then, and here I have 
I have my own colors that are all gray and I think look nicer. Uh, that's, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you make your own color scheme. You want to go to your, uh, you want to make a color scheme file in this directory, wherever it is, and you just want to set it up with that general uh, syntax that I showed you. Demo here. Uh, yeah, and that's basically it.